we're back again. Thanks so much. I, I trust that uh, you're back with us too. If you're not, uh, I don't know where you might be. We want to remind you on this Saturday we have our uh, monthly prayer vigil. You know that uh, Nell and Bill Montgomery have been doing this for several years. And, well, you know, we just we love them so very much and appreciate them. You see it right there at uh, at 10.30 to 12.30 inside the studio right here. You can come and stay for five minutes or 10 minutes, 50. You can come stay the whole two hours. But we want you to know you're here in the studios, but the, no cameras or, or, or taping or anything like that. So you can come. And, and if you've never met Bill and Nell Montgomery, that's a treat. They, they've been such a staple here with us here at WGGS for so many years and such godly people. And I hope you'll take advantage of that, okay? Also, we want to remind you that we always have a need for prayer partners, always. You know, we're praying tonight for Carl and Lynn, two very faithful prayer partners. Carl's not, Carl's not doing well. And, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're just praying that the Lord's mercy will reign supreme. And if uh, there is healing, we're praying for that if it's the Lord's will. And uh, Carl and Lynn, we love you very, very, very much. And know that so many people are praying for you. And also, if you would like to be a prayer partner, Amanda, she's here uh, during the day, Monday through Friday. If you give a call and it, by chance she's not here, we'll take your name, she'll call you back, and we want to tell you how prayer partners work, why they are basically the backbone of what we do here at Nightline because they're standing by ready to receive your telephone call and not just to talk and pass the time. They want to talk about Jesus. They want to talk about how good God is. They want to encourage you. You might be discouraged. You might be all, you might be by yourself, but you're not alone. Don't ever forget. You might be lonely, but you're not alone. Jesus said he'd never leave you. He'd never forsake you. That's what he said. And I want you to know if you just reach out, he's there for you. And I, I pray tonight that our program has been encouraging to you particularly if you are a veteran. And uh, I hope that you, you'll uh, get in touch with Mr. Elliot Washington, Jr. We'll be talking to him just in a few more moments. But uh, what a great program. I have been honored tonight to be with these great men, uh, of course, men and women, but these great men who have served this great country. I'm honored. Right now, the trilogy is going to sing Statue of Liberty. Come on, folks. In New York Harbor Stands a lady With her torch Raised to the sky And all who see knows that she stands from the war liberty for you and for me and I'm so proud to, to be called stood an old rugged cross 
with my Lord race to the sky and all who kneel there oh it's gonna live forever oh, oh so the saints can testify Oh, 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 and I'm so glad to be called a Christian, to be named with the ransom and the hope. the statue as it liberates all oh, the citizens oh yes and so the cross liberates the soul and the cross is statue of liberty for it was there that my heart was set free Wow, I, I'm just relishing the beautiful music and how it just lifts my spirit. And I hope it has been doing that to you. And we've been talking tonight uh, to uh, Mr. Elliot Washington Jr. and his program. I'm, I'm telling you folks, I, I've met folks. And you, there are many of you listening tonight you, and many of you who are veterans. And right now tonight, uh, nothing wrong, but you're sitting in your rented apartment or rented mobile home. Uh, you served this great country for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, you maybe have been to the bank after bank, and everybody said, sorry, you can't, you don't qualify for a home. Let me tell you something. Well, let me let Mr. Washington tell you, but what would you say to that veteran who's feeling that tonight? Well, first of all, I want to say that thank you for your service. And I always tell all my veterans, you know, even though I served, they thank me right back. So it's a great mutual feeling. Yeah. So I say that thank you for your service. Then I said, look, you know, you have a benefit that you qualify already because you've already served. So you shouldn't have to pay anything else for it. A mortgage. You know, that's why with the VA, we don't have to pay any closing costs with it. It's all rolled into it. So where a veteran can sit down at the closing and bring no money to the table Whoa. if we do it the correct way. Right, right, okay? right. So we be able to get the house appraised and get all that built into. That's one of the only lendings that actually can allow that to be rolled into the whole mortgage itself. Most of them you got to pay outside and closing costs. Right. But that one does. So they've already served. So they shouldn't have to pay no, anything sir. else. Right, right, okay, so right. we make sure that is sound so they can come to the table, don't pay any closing. So I let them know you already have this benefits. So let's find out what we got to do to qualify and unlock that benefit for you because yes. you already have it. And so with that 640 threshold, that's usually the, the main factor that allows my fellow veterans not to qualify. So we look at their profile. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to make sure they're clean for 12 months. We want to make sure they've been stably working for two years. If we get that the way we need it to be, then we can go ahead and, and if we have to, manually do 
or underwriting of a loan. Okay. Okay. So these are extra steps we take because we want to bring every veteran across the line. Right. And now, of course, uh, me and my wife, Pretty Washington, we started a credit repair company called Pretty Credit. We started that two years ago. So we have that extra added benefit for our veterans or non-veterans who may be challenged in the credit area to be able to put them in a program to get them qualified and roll them into a mortgage plan in-house. So again, we are shrinking and closing up that gap right. of what it takes to go from renting or leasing to home ownership. You know, so we work with them and customize a plan for that. So I'll let them know, okay, so you already qualify for a home. Let's go ahead and get you into that home. Let's get you the key. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's not like, oh, you don't qualify. We can't do it. Yeah. We're going to do it. Let's find out a little bit of particulars about you. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your story and everything. Once I get that, then we start to go into work to get them pre-qualified so we can get them in a contract for a home. Did you hear that? I believe uh, Mr. Washington is talking to not just you, but several yous that are listening tonight. You know, we've had earlier on the set, we had uh, two families that were here. Yes. And uh, the, the Clarks and Hesters and yes. precious folks, both of them, uh, yes. the, the men were uh, our veterans and mm -hmm. what an honor to be again yes. on the set with them. Yes. And I know that there was another family you were hoping were, would be able to make it, but yes. the next best thing is yes. you have a, ro we call it a roll in, you've yes. got a, a video. Set it up for us. Tell us who we're going to see and then we'll be ready to go. Yes, yeah, so, so we're going to be talking talking with the Mack family. Um, the Mack family were uh, a family. He's an Army veteran. He actually came in my program right when we launched. Okay. Okay. And out of all of the families that I worked with, I would say he was probably the most aggressive person that was looking for a home before he got to our company. You know, so he's been, you know, denied for a lot of different reasons from a lot of different institutions, but it's not because he wasn't trying. So when we got with him, we worked on him, and we just closed on him just a, uh, about a week ago. Okay. And so now he actually in a home, nice home. He's so happy. He would be here tonight, but the company he works for right now is doing maintenance. Right. And so he had to uh, And he may video. be home taking care of that nice new home. Ah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, right. yes. We got the Mac family. Let's go see that video. Roll that in right now, okay? Watch and you'll enjoy this. Um, all I can say is I want to say thank you to uh, Patriot Owners. Uh, they did an outstanding job in helping me attain a uh, house that I thought I would never be able to obtain. So if you are a vet and you're out there trying to figure out a way for you and your family to buy a home or to get a place, you might want to give them a call. I did it. A picture is worth a thousand words. A video is worth a million dollars. Yes. I mean, really? I mean, yes. What can you say? I mean, here's a man, and that y'all were you were able to help yes. get into his dream home. Yes, a dream home. Um, very happy. You saw his kids, yeah. his wife. You know, they've been looking. They've been told no. Um, and like I said, me and my partners, you know, literally became his dream team. Yeah. And he said that himself at the closing, yeah. uh, you know, and that, that's what we did for him. And beautiful family, aren't they? Yes, very beautiful. Uh, we trust the Max will be watching tonight in the morning. And just a beautiful, beautiful family, I'm telling you. Is that you in the center? Yes, sir. I tell you what. You know. <laughs> See, one of the things I do with my closings, all my closings, I carry the American flag. Amen. You know, I'm about <laughs> yes, the only person that does that. Yes, sir. I mean, you. I mean, you know, for, for me, I mean, this is just uh, w when I think about that, not having not served in the military mm -hmm. and not a, I'm, uh, not a veteran, but to know uh, the price that each of y'all have yes. paid. Yes. Uh, for me, I mean, <laughs> yes. and I'm smart enough to know that. And we'll be eternally grateful. Uh, I'm just, I'm just grateful that there's programs and there are people like yourself yes. who are helping those 
who, who are trying to help themselves and, and maybe because of rules, laws, regulations, right. uh, they can't quite get up. Right. You're in there to say, hey, come here. Let me, right. let me. That's I mean, right. What a, what a, all right, now, what do you see on the horizon for the company? What, what do you see out there? What's well, it? I see on the horizon for the company is that we're going to get continue to get more embedded in the needs of my fellow veterans. Right. So, you know, like I said earlier, we're um, acquiring land to try to be able to create communities. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also working on uh, commercial projects to provide um, uh, areas for veteran entrepreneurs to thrive. Oh, I love it. Um, trying to create incubators, you know, so we can get the veterans in, create the space for them, and actually allow them again. Everything I want to do is to allow the American veteran to live the life that he fought for. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. so we fought for home ownership. We fought for soil. Yes. We fought for entrepreneurship. Yes, we did. fought for business. Yes. We yes. fought for all of these things. Yes. And yes. so the veterans coming back home that don't qualify this and not even be able to access what we fought for is a travesty. Yes, sir. So yes, I sir. want to do everything in my power to help my fellow veterans live the mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. of what we fought for. Yes, yes. And that's my mission. You know, I can't help but think, just listening to you, are you thinking maybe down the road to, to buy some acreage and be able to establish a, a, a community of veterans? Uh, that's exactly what I'm doing. Ooh. That's exactly what I'm doing. I have some projects in Columbia. Man. I have some projects downtown Greenville. And I have some projects in North Carolina that probably will come to fruition next year. And, you know, I mean... You know, Solomon said it this way, where there's no vision, the people perish, yes. all right? But let me take the converse and apply it to this dear brother. Where there is a vision, yes. the people flourish. That's exactly right. You know? That's exactly and, right. And uh, you may be one of those that needs to uh, just pick your head up. You hold it higher than you've ever held it because you might just be one day, one week, one month, or one, several months away from owning your own home, realizing that American dream. You fought for it, and you deserve it. Yes. And you've got a dear brother here, a fine Christian man, yes. who says, hey, I, I want to help. You know, for, for me, uh, uh, Mr. Washington, th this has been an honor for me to just to visit with you. There on Woodruff Road, uh, you can go by. Do they need an appointment, or will, are you usually in, or if they want to see you, do they need to make an um, appointment? The best thing to do is always call me on my Patriot line. Okay. Um, one eight six four five eight zero six four zero two. Okay. Um, leave a message, right. you know, and I will get back to you because I am out doing a lot okay. of things for veterans. There it is, and you give that number, give him a call, and uh, if you get the voice mail he'll return it to you and you can begin the process yes. boy you've been great i mean you're gonna sit Thank right you. here yes, sir. love you brother you yes, just me. You god continue to bless you right yes, now trilogy is singing the american trilogy come on now. Dixieland, where I was born, early Lord, one frosty morn, look away, look away, look away.
be Don't you cry You know Your daddy's Bound to die Going on trials, Lord, soon will be over. I tell you what, <laughs> I, what can you say? I, I mean, in this place, it just filled with the beauty of the music of this. Thank you, Trilogy. You've blessed our hearts tonight, and you've reminded us of the great price that has been paid for all of us. And, Mr. Washington, you have reminded us by bringing these veterans in the vit uh, video of the price that they paid for yes, me. Yes. I mean, we brought it down to, to, yes. to my level right. and also for you. Right. And again, if there are those of you who are veterans and you're watching tonight and you have the dream of owner, ownership of a home, wow, you tuned in to the right program at the right time. I want you to know that. In just a moment, I, I, I've asked Mr. Washington, he's going to join with me. We, we, we're going to lay hands on these requests that have come in. We're going to pray collectively. And while we do that, we're going to scroll the brave names of men and women who serve our great country right now. And so would you please listen as Mr. Washington leads us in this prayer. Yes, let's bow our heads. We're going to ask a prayer for all the servicemen that stands to watch, yes. that stands to guard. We're going to pray for all the ones that have sacrificed and made the ultimate sacrifice and has not returned physically back yes. to their loved ones. Mercy. We're going to ask for prayer for all the ones that are still actively protecting our borders. They allow us to be able to do the things that we are to do freely and lovingly. We ask prayers to encompass everyone in the United States and yes. abroad, yes. everyone that believes in God, everyone yes. that believes and says Jesus, that yes. they love them. Oh. We want to extend this out to all families that's watching, all families that's praying for more, all families that want more, that has access to more. Yes. Keep working and keep believing in God. Yes. God is your prayer. The 23rd Psalm that my dad allowed yes. me to memorize guided me through 48 years of living. Mm. Mm. It can guide you yes. no matter what age. You can start right now. Yes. If you haven't found God, please find him in the church and a pastor or just in the Bible. Yes. We ask these prayers in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. And we've uh, been able to scroll those names, and you've been able to see brave men and women who serve. I want to thank you, uh, Mr. Washington, again. God bless you, sir. Thank you, I, I have learned so much tonight from you and your passion thank and uh, these precious folks who are your yes. guests. and. Yes. Some of you out there 
will come to know this dear brother in the days to come. Yes. You owe it to yourself and to your family to pick up that telephone and dial one 864 580 Give him a call and start the process. Start the process. And uh, he will be there and he will be ready to help you. And I'm, I'm just honored to be here tonight. Thank you so much for letting us come into your home. You know, we've had a lot of fun. We couldn't be here. And as I, I say so many times, you know, Monica's been floor directing for us. Dagan's been on this camera right in front of me. Tease has been over here. And I'm so grateful for her. On the other side of the wall, I've got Kimber. She's been doing a great job over there. Caleb has been doing our sound. Is Clay over there as well? Greg? I mean, uh, Greg is over there, and I think that's everybody tonight, isn't it? Of course, our producer, Allison McCall, always does a superb job, and her dear husband, Scott, doing so many times our graphics and does so many things for us. We love these folks. We really do. We don't try to overplay that issue, but we're smart enough to know those of us who sit in front of the camera, if it weren't for these folks, Correct. they could make us look awful. You know that, <laughs> right, don't you? I know that. And, uh, but they they, they make us, uh, they, they really help make us up and we're grateful. But one thing we know, we couldn't be here if it weren't for your prayers. We couldn't be here if it weren't for your financial gifts to WGGS TV 16. And we want to thank you for your prayers. We want to thank you for your giving. We want to thank you for the way you continue to encourage us. But we know this too. If it weren't for Jesus, if it weren't for him, none of this would be possible. So on behalf of all of us here at Nightline, oh my, thanks so much for having us into your home. Thanks for spending the last hour, hour and a half with us. We'll look forward to seeing you soon. I'm Pastor Benny. God bless. Good night.